Hey, welcome back. Well, a huge cleanup is underway in parts of Southern California after tropical storm Hillary buried entire neighborhoods in mud and debris. Many of these desert communities hadn't seen rain like this in nearly a century. Michael Spencer reports more. This road in Palm Springs, California is one of several that remain closed Tuesday after tropical storm Hillary pounded the desert community with nearly as much rain in one day as it normally gets in a year. Nearby in Cathedral City, emergency crews used bulldozers to rescue residents trapped in five feet of mud. Officials say it felt more like quicksand. You got a wall of water mixed with sand and mud, so, so trying to walk through it is different than just mud or just sand. With the mud knee deep, residents have now begun the long process of digging out and cleaning up. No matter three minutes, my whole back, my whole bottom floor was filled up with water to waste level. Ronald Mendiola said his family of five were stranded on their roof as debris rushed through Cathedral City. Uh, we did make it to safety by Good Samaritan coming and actually passing by and picking us up. Here in Long Beach Harbor, some parts of the marina suffered damage and storm debris is piling up. The storm also caused a power outage to White Memorial Hospital in Los Angeles. The generators immediately kicked in on Monday, but then failed early Tuesday. So we immediately moved the critical patients to adjacent buildings, and we also moved patients that we could not accommodate that are critical to outlying hospitals around us here in the area. Death Valley National Park remains closed after the storm delivered a year's worth of rain in one day. An estimated 400 residents, visitors, and employees are sheltering in place until the roads are passable again. Michael Spencer, CBS News, Long Beach, California. Joshua Tree National Park and Lake Mead National Recreation Center are both reopening today after the storm.